Okay, so where we left off was we downloaded, installed Expand, we got it working, and now we want to play Expand. So how do we do that? So you've heard of a MIDI keyboard. MIDI allows you to trigger sounds. Don't even worry what the heck, it's an acronym for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. Don't worry about it. So the thing is, um, I'm using this old laptop that only has two USB ports. I'm using one USB port for this USB powered microphone that I'm talking into and the other USB port I have my iLock. So I need a MIDI, another MIDI port for my MIDI keyboard, right? Uh, and at some point I'm going to need another MIDI port for a musical in, for an instrument interface. We're going to get there soon. Uh, so I need a USB hub. What the heck is a USB hub? You know how a power strip allows you to take two outlets and make it into a, one big outlet? exactly the same thing. So the thing is though, there are USB hubs like this is Mr. Hubman and but you'll notice Mr. Hubman, you plug him into the USB port, but he doesn't have any power and you say, well, doesn't the USB power things? Yes, but there's certain devices that need more power than something like Mr. Hubman. Uh, so I am using a powered USB hub. If you go to Amazon or you go to Google and you type in powered USB hub buy or whatever, this is just one of many of them. But you'll notice it's plugged into the wall. It's powered. It's got a little thing. It's plugged into my uh, power strip right over there. But it gives me a bunch of powered USB ports so I don't have a bunch of crap and, and I don't have to worry about running out of ports on my computer. So this is where I have my USB keyboard plugged in. So when I go to expand now, this is my little bitty. It's a M Audio mini key station. I'm just starting with this just to start something really, really simple. This thing was really dirt cheap and I travel with it when I want to do play some MIDI stuff and I don't want to bring my big keyboard. So I have this plugged in. I'm going to go to ex the expand track here and I'm going to put it in record and I'm going to play my and I don't hear anything. Why? Because I go to Setup, I go to MIDI, I go to MIDI Input Devices, and there's my device. Why don't I hear it? And let me see. It even happens to me. So I'm going to unplug and replug. See? It's just as simple as that. It's like, what the hell? But now. You'll notice under, if I go to setup again, I go to MIDI, MIDI input devices, there's my MIDI key station. Sometimes you just have to unplug and replug and you just can't say, it's not working. You just gotta, gotta think like a detective. And like earlier before, I, in, I put in Hubman and then I, Pro Tools crashed on me and I was like, ah, I need a powered USB hub. And again, it's just the more you do this stuff, the more things will come to you like that. So you'll get there, but don't don't get frustrated. Something doesn't work, unplug it, replug it, restart Pro Tools. Sometimes get things get funky and you just have to learn how to tweak it. So, so I'm using a MIDI keyboard. I'm happening. I can, here's how I change the sound. I click here on, uh, hi Beanie, come on up. And you'll notice we're in a category called soft pads, all right? Let's go down to loops. And you'll notice there's a whole bunch of loops. Oops, it's kind of wonky. And you kind of gotta, I'm gonna find a beanie. Um, I'm gonna find a shaker loop. And it says shakers. That's one, that's C1, I guess. So it's the same tempo, but it's just a different pitch of shakers. If I hit this right arrow, it just snaps. So these are loops that are in expand. So I'm gonna stop here. Hopefully you've got a MIDI keyboard, you've got it working. Spend some time going through expand. You can say, well, come here. Uh, you've got acoustic pianos, but there's another plug-in that comes with Pro Tools uh, and it's called Min Mini Grand, which is better than Expand Pianos. So don't worry about pianos. Sorry, I think my dog needs to go out. Um, I'm going to stop there and just go ahead and play with Expand a little bit. 
and then we'll move on and we'll get a drum loop into this song using expand. <laughs> <laughs> 